YouTube, it's Textbook on Bad, and today <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys how to make a new page on Adobe Dreamweaver. Um, uh, the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people didn't get how to make a new page from my other video, um, how to make your own awesome website. Um, I guess I didn't really cover it that good, so I'm just gonna cover it again because a lot of people have been asking me about it. So, yeah, um, basically. What I have up here in Dreamweaver is the home page of the Textbook on Bad website and the tutorials page of the Textbook on Bad website. And what I want to do right now is link them. So when someone presses home, it goes to the home page. And when someone presses tutorials, it goes to the tutorials page. It's actually really simple. First off, make sure your files are open. Your website folder is open up here in the corner. So right here, I have my website right here, my website folder open up in the right side corner. So all you have to do is actually really simple is highlight what you want to like when someone clicks on the button or whatever, highlight whatever button you want that when someone clicks on it, it will actually lead to whatever page. So here I have home. So when someone clicks it, I want it to go to the home page. So what do you do? I just highlighted I highlighted the whole box and then right here come down to the link where it says link and then yours should be blank. So where the link whatever it says right there um it should be blank. Click on the point to file tool right here. Click and drag to the folder. So right here just click and drag to whatever folder you want. Whatever folder, it's as simple as that. That's it, just whatever folder. You could actually also type it. For example, I could type home.html, but I prefer to use the um, point file thingy, the tool, um, to actually point it because first of all, it types it for you, it's easier, and second of all, it's more direct and exact. And second of all, you wanna make sure that your target is on parent because every time someone presses a new thing on your website, you don't want it to open up in a new link, do you? No, not really. So. Um, well, yeah, and next to link up the tutorials to tutorials, just highlight it and then point to file button tool and link it to tu tutorials wherever it is. Link it, make sure that's why you need to have your website folder open. Um, well, yeah, and as I said, you could also type it and yeah, you could just keep doing that and then make sure to also do it for each and every website um, uh, page you have. Make sure to do that for each and every website page you have because if you do it for one page, it's not gonna exactly work for all the pages. So you have to do it for each page. And it's basically, it's really, really simple. Um, uh, yeah, I hope you guys get it now, those who asked me about it. I hope you guys got it. Um, I hope you guys um, have no more questions. And well, yeah, I hope you guys learned something today and goodbye.